How y'all doing? It's Gary Reeves, the GPS guru, or the guy in the pink shirt, and the Avidyne National Training Provider. I'd like to show you what it looks like to shoot an RNAV LPV approach into Denton, Delta, Tango, Oscar, here in North Texas, using the Avidyne SVS Synthetic Vision View. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on the SVS button in the bottom left. And you'll notice I have it set up with some data blocks, a traffic window. You notice I'm in GPS mode, but LPV is armed. It will go to LPV when I'm on the leg to the final approach fix, which is haul it. As soon as we turn inbound and pass Jidos, As soon as the leg to Holly or Holly W, however you want to say that, becomes active, you'll notice I now have a lateral and vertical deviation indicator. The vertical deviation indicator on the right is yellow, meaning I am more than full scale below that. Or it's more than full scale above me, however you want to say that. So I'm going to touch the CLR clear button to get rid of the class delta ahead. We're going to fly forward at about 110 knots and wait for that glide path to become active. There's no reason to step down from 3,000 to 2,300 at this point. It's an unnecessary step down. You don't have to be at 2,300 on this leg. You have to be at or above 2,300. So now let's just follow it in. My glide path has become active. You'll notice my green total velocity vector. Today we have no wind, which is convenient. Regional approach tells us to contact Denton Tower. We switch over. We tell them we're at the final approach fix. And when we capture the glide path, we'll start a descent. And at 110 knots, just about three and a half degrees nose down works pretty well. Again, I'll push the hard CLR button to get rid of the class delta. Looks like the wind is pushing us pretty straightforward. In. Now, what I really want you to watch is watch the pink line underneath my airplane. That's drawn 1,000 feet below the airplane. So when that breaks up, you know you're 1,000 AGL. Notice that pink line will just start to break up. Now, if you have an Avidyne audio panel, you'll get a 500 AGL alert, which means you're 500 feet above ground level. It's not in relation to the instrument minimums. So you see my total velocity vector, the green dot, is just a little bit to the right of the airport. So I'm gonna bank just slightly left to correct for it. As we get closer, you'll notice the yellow terrain appears. Of course, the FLTA blacks out the terrain warnings as you're coming into the runway to avoid distractions. As we get closer to our decision altitude, we'll go ahead and disconnect the autopilot and we'll go ahead and land the airplane. For more information on how to master your Avidyne IFD 55540 or 440, go on over to Avidyne Training dot com. We'll see you all soon.